On this episode, I drift like an absolute maniac with the power of anime and video games on my side. We're out here again today at Skudama Circuit with the Beans 86. This is my Toyota A86 with a Beans engine from a Toyota Altezza that I bought last year during that whole uh, lockdown thing. It's a huge piece of junk, but it's a lot of fun to drive, and it's also had such a big impact on people that it now exists virtually. But more on that later. One thing I've always found interesting reading the comments of my videos is how many people notice the shoes people are wearing. You know, like they'll see in the background, oh, that guy's wearing, you know, Jordan whatevers. So I thought I'd do something for all the sneakerhead people out there and buy some shoes. Probably gonna ask, what kind of shoes could be related to an A86? The shoes from Initial D. So it's generally accepted that it's the New Balance 574s that are the shoes worn by the protagonist of Initial D, Takumi Fujiwara. So I thought I'd buy a pair. So they might not be the exact, uh, you know, color and everything as the ones you see in the anime, but these are the shoes. People also often say, can we get a pedal cam? So I'm gonna do that today. The first thing these shoes are gonna do is drift. They're not even gonna touch the ground. I'm gonna put them on in the car. Still the tags on, they are brand new. So the question is, can uh, anime meme shoes make you drift better? We're about to find out. <laughs> I'm just gonna do a regular lace. So first thing these shoes are doing is drifting. And I'm not even gonna pull the tag off. Oh, these are comfy. Okay. Unfortunately, no microphone today, I'm sorry. All right. So what's the conclusion? Are these good shoes to drift in? The answer I think is uh, not really. With this heel like that, all of your weight goes in that one little point and it's kind of difficult to rotate around. It should be like flat, not a little point there, like a regular sort of skate shoe. So is it the shoes that made Takumi a good drifter? No, it's not. It's probably just him. These might not be the best driving shoes, but they are very comfortable to walk around in after you've finished. I actually do have a favorite brand and model of shoe to drift in and I bought a new pair recently so I'll show you next time. Don't worry, this is not becoming a sneaker channel. Next thing, since I got new shoes, I figure the A86 needs a present as well. All the way from California, JSP Fab shift knobs. We've got the long one, the shorty, and these are metal, and the plastic one. This car has the standard six speed Altezza transmission in it and this is the standard shift knob. But as you can see, it's like plastic and plated chrome. Looks cool from a distance, but it's kind of old, it's gotta go. Tell you what, I might go for the short one. JSP, 
like a red wrinkle finish. The way this works is you take the insert out and then the insert goes on and there's a grub screw in here you do up. So that's now rock solid. And then this goes on the top. The shift knob's already a bit of a weird position for me, so I just went for the short one. Actually, you know what, we could put the, since it's coming up to summer, the metal one might be a bit too hot. We can just put on the, the Delrin one. Nice. I like the red crinkle finish though, so I'm gonna put that one on. Yeah, I like it. Talk about putting lipstick on a pig. JSP Fab make a whole bunch of stuff for A86, so check out their website if you want to cop a shift knob. Thank you. Also, you wrote a letter. Hey Alexi, I really like your YouTube videos. I hope you keep making amazing content. Smiley face, peace sign, and then he drew uh, Takumi. I didn't even know he did that before I opened the box. There's been a lot of talk today about Initial D, and I'm pretty sure that almost anyone who's seen that series has thought at one point, oh, it'd be so cool to go back there to you know the late 90s in the mountains in Japan and feel what it's like to be in that world. And you know, there's video games, uh, arcade games, you can get replicas of Takumi's car in pretty much every simulator there is. Have you been watching the Beans episodes and thought, I wonder what it's like to drive this car on this track? Well, now thanks to a bunch of dedicated modders and Assetto Corsa, you can! And there it is. This is a mod of the Beans 86 that just came out, and as you can see, it's pretty accurate with the wheels and stickers and whatnot. And uh, we're here today on the sim at Skudama Circuit. This mod has been made by a group called 90s Golden Drift Spot Project, and anyone who plays AC will know uh, they've been making a lot of replicas of, uh, you know, real-life famous toge spots and stuff like that. And they're starting to make tracks, and as you can see, it's been done to an extremely high level of detail. A lot of the locations uh, on the track have a lot of really small detail here and there. Everything looks quite accurate. Look here, you've got the, the vending machines there. You've got Morita-san's workshop and, uh, you know, the, the toilets and the car wash bays. And not only that, it even has the driving pallet section up the top here, which we've never actually driven IRL. We'll have to do that soon. Unfortunately, I have to kind of run this a bit low because my graphics card isn't really that good and I'm not running high resolution. But what we can do is um, do some virtual drifting in the beans without actually having to go to Tsukuruma Circuit. There's a lot of plugins you can use to make this uh, track look a lot better, but this is how it looks just raw. And as you can see, the beans has a lot of detail too. It's got the uh, Alteza instruments there and also the, uh, yeah, the Nagatoro sticker. I have to say, I'm probably better at drifting IRL than I am on the sim. Is that good or bad? So even though I can do this IRL, uh, because you know these mods are getting so good these days, and also a lot of pro drivers practice uh, in simulators, uh, I've got this uh, Fanatec wheel, pedals, and uh, shift knob, etc. Alright, let's see if I can do it uh, like I do IRL. Oh, it's kind of tricky. <laughs> ah! Oh, it is just like the real thing. Ah. That's a sketchy spot to grip up IRL too, because there's a big dirt wall right there. There we go. Yeah! Oh no! Uh, see, the, one of the good things about Sims though, if you do that, you can just press this button and go straight back to the pits with no problem. Also, not only that, if you, uh, you know, want to practice the big full send entries, you can do that too. Okay, well, that didn't work. All right, those are the Beans 86 and Skudama Circuit mods for a set of courses. So if you think you can uh, do better than me, download them and try them out because you probably can. Of course, it's always fun to watch yourself too. All right, back to the real thing. It's almost like, why would I drive three hours to come here? Well, I mean, obviously the real thing's better, but you know. When I say better, I mean, you know. 
I still got to fix the door. Before we go, one more thing I need to do to the 86 today. Budo no ki sticker. Budo no ki, which means grapevine, is a former cafe turned tire and tuning shop in Yamanashi. We went there in a previous video, so you should probably check that out too. This is a genuine sticker made by Mr. Suzuki, and it was given to me at uh, Sportsland Yamanashi by a fan of the channel who went and got it for me, and he wanted to see it on the 86. Getting cooler by the minute. Thank you to the guy who gave me the genuine Budonoki sticker. All right, that's all for me today. Hit subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Also, you can catch me doing live sim drifting on twitch.tv, link down below. If you want to see more content with this car, here's a playlist and some other videos for you to watch as well. So once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.